It's the one golf course that you'll see as you've been out there. His clubs are always on the on the back of a car. He's ready to go to the range. It's it's almost in every little blade of grass out there because Arnold plays it whenever he can. The king, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Palmer. Um, he lives and breathes at Bay Hill. And when the tournament comes around every March, it's a great reminder to not just Mr. Palmer, but also the golf course and all those little obstacles that he put in your way, water normally, and, and all the great events. And it's fun. And it's a golf course too that anybody can play. And when I think of Arnold Palmer, I think that the young professionals could learn just a few things uh, for, from one of the all-time greats. First of all, reach out to the galleries, sign autographs, Look make, him in the eye make, make eye contact as he always did. Number two, own your golf swing. Whatever it is, believe in it. it may be a little different. It may not be by the book, but own it and be comfortable with it. And then I think number three, go for it. That's what Arnie always did, go for it at the risk of failure because you'll never be great if you just lay back all the time. Arnie always went for it. One little lesson, too, you reminded me there. The one common denominator with just about every great player is a good grip. Arnold Palmer learned that for his dad. So if you're picking up a golf club for the first time or playing it for the hundredth time, remember, a good grip will take you a long way. On the green and a chance for birdie. Drops another birdie and moves to four under on the day. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen. Uh, half a box of golf balls. Hazard. Maybe wet. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. <laughs> Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Getting set now over the putt. And Frank, the train is rolling down the tracks right now. And just check another one off. Moving on now, Frank, we're at the par three seventh hole. What's the challenge here? Really, the high ball hitters have an advantage here. Just try and carry it in the middle of the green. Well, after that beast of a par five with all the water, take a sigh of relief and you come to the par three seventh. It still takes a good tee shot here though, Rich. Narrow entry and the green's 30 yards deep. You still really got to focus on hitting a good shot here. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. Frank, two is nice, but three is even better. Back-to-back -back birdies and six under par. Frank, how about the eight par four, one of the more intriguing setups? Ideally, you want to just work your tee shot away from that bunker, but uh, this is one fairway you must hit because it's one of the toughest second shots on the golf course. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Setting up for the approach, this player in total command. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, the decision making, club selection is being spot on, but uh, the execution, the swing, is uh, really what I'm admiring right now. Here we go. Safely aboard. These putts keep the round together. Makes birdie, continuing to amaze on the greens, Frank. Putted well all day, Rich. Uh, had a couple of good holes early on and just, I think, found the groove. Has taken it to another level. <laughs> a 
wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. You get those ice blue skies. How do you get off to a good start here on this second nine? Well, really, you've got to pick a target here. You don't just blaze away at the 10th. The whole bend's to the right. If you can get it over that bunker, you've got just a, a short iron, even a wedge in here. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Let's see what the dominant number one player can do. Rory McIlroy now on the approach shot. No putter, no problem. Slams that into the cup. Frank, 440-yard par for 11th. You see that number on the card, you think, driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Ranking up the birdie stats today. How about this? Seven birdies on the card. Frank, the par fives here at Bay Hill so important. What's the 12th like? 570-odd yards. Uh, Tiered high, let it fly. Interesting, with the almost space-age advancements in golf equipment, what with new, lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Is just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. It's at sneaky distance. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300 yard drives and miss three foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy and that's the agony. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. At the par 4 13th now, this is a hole, Frank, that requires some smart club selection. What are the options here? Yeah, very sneaky par 4. That bunker on the right is 250 yards or so off the tee. So you've either got a choice to play short of that or sneak it down the end, which is about 300 yards. But if you try and be bold here and miss the fairway, that second shot, evil. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Um, yeah, you put the ball back a little bit further in your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. So you have to allow for that. And keep that club moving. Um, that grass is going to be... Is, that, that grass is going to create uh, a certain amount of resistance. Knocking down all the shots today. Now at 13 under. Frank, one of the things I like about Bay Hills, it requires you to hit clean, strong golf shots. And here's another case at the par 3 14th. It's more than 200 yards. Another one, really, you've just got to play it through the air. You can't play this like an open championship run-up par 3. Must fly it onto the green. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. That will be a great look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here. Yeah. 
just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, the 15th, kind of a fun golf hole if you can curve your ball. I mean, that's a huge dog leg to the right, isn't it? Yeah, it's much easier if you're a right-hander if you cut it down here. If you don't cut it, then make sure you don't run out down that left side. Excellent looking shot here. Three fifteen. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that easy birdie. I've heard of being on the zone, but this is uh, he's just making it look so easy. Just sensational golf. I mean, he, he is knocking down every flag stick right now. What a performance. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, he could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at eagle coming up. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hut for Eagle coming up. Soaring high and diving in the cup. That's an Eagle. Frank Parkley, 17 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. And getting ready for the putt. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. He can really get red hot with a putter. Let's see what McElroy does. He's made it. Frank, how'd you like to be a rookie? You're going up against, at the time, the greatest player in the game, the great white shark, Greg Norman, and you hole a seven iron to win a tournament? Well, all you had to do was look at the uh, expression on Norman's face as that ball landed and went in. What did he hit there? Seven iron. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. This could be good. That is classy. What a chance of going in. Frank, a lot to like in this performance today. Oh, it is. There's so many positives to take out of this round. Um, not just the possibility to, to win this week, but going forward. This is great golf that you would you would hold up against anybody right now.